are obsessed with the Connie Fife Show. It's about a lifestyle shift to move up or out. Hey, you want your jam? What's the one thing that really drives you? What makes you unstoppable? It's about opening a new door to live your dream. People give up way too early on their dreams. It's about enjoying the journey. It's about keeping it real. Damn, now the interviewee is interviewing the interviewer. I like this. It's all about you. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. Stop taking shit so seriously. Y'all can do this. Take an outrageous look at life and laugh. This is the Connie Fife Show. We love your voice. We love your jam. You need to be on radio. And now your host, Connie Fife. Well, hi, everyone. Hello, and it is another week right here on the Connie Fife Show, and I'm Connie Fife, your host, also known as the Unstoppable Diva. So thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. And also thanks for sharing the Connie Fife Show. It's because of you, our loyal listeners, that we continue to grow. We're in about 610 countries now. Um, our, our ratings and our numbers come in that we are... Uh, roughly about 6 million impressions a month. So really excited about that. So keep coming back because you don't know who who we just might have on the show and you don't want to miss any of that good stuff. So today's today's guest, he is coming to us from overseas. So let me just give a little bit of introduction here, what I have for him. So it's by dancing between his heart And his mind, today's guest has created a 50-year vision of spreading much-needed love around the world. And yes, we could all agree that we need a lot more love around the world. So get ready for the relationship entrepreneur himself. Welcome to the Connie Fife Show, George Armin. And George, I'm going to have you say your name so we say it correctly. It's George Armin. Thank you so much, Connie, for this beautiful introduction. Well, thank you. And we're, I mean, you're coming to us live from the streets of Lebanon. Indeed. <laughs> Actually, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so a lot of what, you, what, what you're doing, I mean, you, t- you talk about you're spreading love, needed love around the world. So h- how are you doing that? It's actually a 50-year vision that uh, mm-hmm. I got, and um, the book is actually one of the, the methods I'm, I'm doing it, but I'm actually building a lot of other projects along the line. Mm-hmm. It's a bit early to discuss them, but uh, it's, it's really something very nice. Mm, okay, okay. And I know you have a book around it as well. Indeed, indeed. It's okay. just actually it came out uh, on October 8th. And oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, it just came out. The Great Dance of Love. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I know that your research, um, your, your experimentations, and, and all of your writings um, really are showing people who are single and talking about the friend zone, as they say. So how is that creating sparks in, mag- in the magic of relationships? Okay, so uh, basically, in short, what happened is that I was friend zoned by my ex best friend. So I actually really wanted to find a solution. And at first, I started mourning and I didn't really know what to do and stuff. I actually went and started reading more than 200 books, more than 1,200 plus articles. Mm -hmm. And I did an in depth experiment to prove that my theories were right. And Mm -hmm. so it is during the experiment that I actually understood and knew and did actually create sparks. And it actually took around two to three months to do that with different ladies. So I actually really wanted to to prove that the theories were right. And so I did try it with different ladies and I Mm -hmm. tried it really to see that it really worked. And um, it's a very interesting process. It's not that complicated. Uh, One of them, for example, one tip that I I would give is, is actually eye contact. Eye contact is really, really, really very important. It has been talked around a lot, but there's a study by Dr. Arthur Aaron, actually, Mm -hmm. uh, that went out and is actually very well known if you've heard about the 36 questions. Right. One of the key things that he mentioned is that once you take the questionnaire, at the end of it, it's really important to have five minutes of eye contact 
with your partner or with the potential partner. And this would actually really intensify the, the attraction with the other person. So I know you're talking about relationships and love and relationship, but when when I looked at your material, um, this this really covers a very broad sp- spectrum, even whether it's in the workplace on uh, how people get along with each other or in families, on uh, you know, and, and how people get get along with each other. And your message. Your greatest treasure lies in your greatest struggle. I, I truly believe that 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 to be to be true. And then you go on with that, and you know that if you never if you never give up, even life itself will want to help you make everything possible for you. I mean, elaborate on that if you will. More about that message. Yeah, so actually, I've been into the personal development for quite some time, mm-hmm. and one of my mentors, Bob Proctor taught me that everything is actually in the mind and I have a lot of other mentors as well and they all talk about really whatever you can you want you can really achieve it from Bob Proctor to Abraham Hicks they all do uh, give this message it's, it's actually all about us mm-hmm. to actually let it sink in let it really be alive feel it so it, it actually starts with the thought then by, by visualizing starting to be grateful getting closer, really feeling it, mm-hmm. and then starting to act from a place of inspired action, not a place of action, that we actually get the result that we want. And it's actually kind of what happened with me. So when I was friend zone, I was like, at first I was like, oh, why does this happen to me? What's this pattern of, of mine that's happening all the time? Why do I keep on either being friend zone or like being in a relationship that I don't like, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. And then I said, but George, you've been into the personal development world. This is what Bob taught you. This is what Abraham Hicks taught you. Why don't you put it into practice? Okay. So I went and I started doing all those uh, exercises that they've, they've taught, and it actually really came into uh, into fruition. Okay. Well, nice, nice. So I know that you're you're traveling around uh, and you're you know you're sharing this message with a lot of people, and again, you're sharing love around the globe. So I want to talk more about that, but we do need to take a really quick break break for our sponsors. So hang in there. We'll be right back. The Connie Five Show is heard everywhere. You can find The Connie Five Show on most of your favorite networks. It's time to now recognize and thank our major networks for all of their support. In the house, we have Conscious Business Radio, C Suite Radio, Transformation Radio, iHeart Radio. We are also heard on Google Play. Apple, Radio, Stitcher, and so many more that I just can't keep up with them all. I'm Connie Pipe, your unstoppable diva. We'll learn more about our gym and how we can work together at my fancy swanky website, ConnieFifeShow.com. I'll see you over there. Until then, like, 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 share, share, share. Now back to the show. And we're back and we're we're talking with George Arman and we're talking about his his 50 year vision of spreading love around the world. And so, George, um, if, if you share more than you're talking about, you're traveling around the world, you're spreading, spreading the love. I mean, you've already been in what, 30 countries, uh, Europe, Asia, the Middle East. And, you, you know, so, I mean, how. The people that you're you're meeting with, the people that you've studied with, even how is their um, perception of the work that you're you're? I mean, really, you're laying the groundwork for you know a, a great need um, globally. So how are how are people uh, re- receiving the message that you're sharing with them? In general, people are really being interested. They're really loving it because let's face it. Honestly, in the end, love is universal. And we all understand love in one way or another. Right. We might get a misconception or not really understood from the vocal side of things. Right. But with, when it comes to the non-vocal or the non, non-verbal non skills, it's all the same wherever we right. go. So uh, everybody loves to be loved. Everybody loves to, to, have to mm. feel love and to give love and to share love in one way or, or another. Right. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. I, I have a friend, his son married um, a woman who speaks, he speaks English and he married a woman who speaks no English and he doesn't speak, she's Taiwanese. He doesn't speak 
her language. So it was just really funny. I said, well, how do they communicate? And that's what he said. He goes, it's love. He goes, you know, they they know how to communicate, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so you're absolutely right, people. You know, love love is really one one language. So, and I saw that you were uh, a member of Toastmasters, uh, loudspeakers Toastmasters. I was a Toastmaster for a lot, a lot, a lot of years myself. So congratulations on that. I was even um, an area director. Did my term there. Serve, served what I did well. So what? That's amazing. What, what other message do you have, you know, for people that are struggling with love and relationships and, you know, hey, what, what, you know, what, what do I do next? Do I give up? And what message do you have for them to really just, just keep on going with it? What I would say, and as corny and as cheesy as it sounds, it's really all about loving ourselves. And I'm, I'm going to go a little bit deeper in, into that. So it's, it's just about really feeling the love from inside because let's face it if we don't love ourselves who is going to love us because who is the most important person in our lives it's mm-hmm. us and if we don't love ourselves nobody will love us if um if we don't have love how can we give love mm. so it's all about loving ourselves from the inside not not needing someone because what we see a lot today is conditional love we see a lot of people like okay if you give me this, I give you that. If you do mm. this, I do that. Whether it's in, with people that have been married or in a relationship for years or people that are single, they, there's always this expectation, this conditional love that, that that's okay. It's okay to have it. But at mm. the same time, if we come from a place of unconditional love, from a place of I'm whole, I'm complete, I don't need you. I just want to be with you. I just want to play with you. I just want to grow with you. I just want to share with you. So it's not like, okay, uh, I want you to do the dishes for me, or I want you to do, uh, I want you, whatever we need. It's not about the need, because the need, mm-hmm. once the need is fulfilled, we're going we're gonna to go to another person who's going to fulfill the need or whatever. It's really about really loving ourselves from inside. Nice. And once we, do, once we do love ourselves, literally things start to shift because we start attracting the right type of partners, whether in, in personal relationship or actually also at work we start to see things that change mm. because that, that's actually what happened to me, honestly. So oh, okay. I was, uh, whether it was at work where I started, like at first I wasn't very happy, et cetera, et cetera. And then I started to work on really loving my work on really appreciating what I had. And I actually transitioned and now I'm, I'm actually really doing something I'm really passionate about, something I really, really love. Mm-hmm. And I'm also very much in love with my partner. So I mean, really, you know, we could say it all came full circle because you stuck to it. You you didn't give up, and and you, you know, you just follow that path. You follow you followed your heart to to where you wanted to go. So, very very powerful, powerful message. So, so George, where do you go from here? I mean, where does your work take you from here? Well, right now, like I, I just published the book, and then uh, by Valentine next year, I'm going to be publishing the audio book as well. Oh, um, okay. Yes, and um, I actually have a, a, a course that I'm actually building, so that once people actually um, go and take the test, because in my book I actually talk about eight relationship characters that you cannot find anywhere else, mm-hmm. and uh, so there's there's going to be a quiz very soon on the website where mm-hmm. they can go take the test and discover which of the eight relationship characters they are. Mm-hmm. And so once I do that, then I'm going to be taking them on a 30-day uh, challenge or 30-day uh, step-by-step guide from okay. where they are to where they want to be uh, to actually help them have more love or find love or be more in love in their lives. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so what makes you unstoppable? Me, myself? Yeah, you. <laughs> love really love it's really <laughs> love of there there are four kinds of love and what really actually helps me a lot is the love i have for myself and it's okay. not the narcissistic kind of love like oh i'm in love with myself it's the the normal kind of love mm-hmm. like i really appreciate what i'm doing and I, I appreciate myself and it's also the love i have with you can call it the creator god mm-hmm. uh, the nature the higher power however you call it Right, because in the end, it's really all about that, in my opinion. Because we're all one, we're all united, 
and um, so it's all about coming back to the to the root core, and well, this I is what actually much. helps you. Well, I very, very much agree with you on that. So, will will you ever be satisfied? You can always, I believe, we can always be content, but mm-hmm. never satisfied. Okay. We can always be content and happy and uh, really well with what we have. Right. But it's always important to to keep this level of satisfaction not fully fulfilled because, let's face it, if you are fully satisfied, then life would be a bit of a routine. And routine is very nice, and, and I love routine. But it's also nice to actually go and uh, go out of our comfort zone and grow. I really believe in growth. So mm-hmm. it's, it's yeah. really important to, to never fully satisfy our, our vessel or our... Mm-hmm. Wherever we are at. Okay. So, if there was a song written about you, what would it, what would what, what would it be? What would it say? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be called actually Mr. Happy. Right now, I would say Mr. Love. So, okay. a song that would be written a song that would be written about me. It's the the common man that's actually very optimistic, right? Who who really believes in love who really believes that love can actually change the world, mm-hmm. that love can really, really shift not only people, but also countries and continents and really go far, high and wide. Mm. This is what I would believe in. Mm. I could see that now on a T-shirt as well. Put, the, put, those, put those names out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, your, so your book is The Great Dance of Love. Where can our listeners find a copy of that? Okay, so uh, you can actually find it on Amazon. And there's actually now a very, uh, a very nice uh, offer. So if you go to the following address, which is www.greatanswerflovebook.com, it's www.greatanswerflovebook.com, it's G-R-E-Y-B-O-G-R-E-Y-O-F-L-O-V-E-B-O-O-K.com. And uh, if you actually go there, you have actually eight bonuses. So once you buy the book, there are eight bonuses from very influential authors and friends of mine, like Peggy McCall and Robert Clancy and Marcy Shimoff. Okay. And they're really valuable gifts. So some of them are meditation. Yes. And they're, they're very helpful and they're very nice and they've been very kind enough to actually share them. So by actually buying the book, you, could, you receive those. And also by actually buying the book, you would be helping uh, educated children around the world uh, because uh, for every book uh, you are going to be giving, I'm going to be giving from from your from your own mm-hmm. uh, one daughter from the profits of the book to the Unstoppable Foundation to actually help raise a child around the world. Wow, very very nice. So that was the Gray of Love Book dot com. Great answer, Love Book dot com. So okay. without the the the, bo- the name of the book is the Great Answer of Love. The website is actually greatanswerflovebook.com without the the. Okay. So greatanswerflovebook.com. Got it. Okay. Greatanswerflovebook.com. <laughs> Make sure we're getting it right. Okay. All right. I think I got it now. All right, George. Well, I, I love listening uh, to you um, and to, and again, for our guests, you can find George on, on most media platforms, social media platforms. And again, get a copy of the book. Um, and again, while you're on the website, look at all of those other authors have, that have provided their books as well. A, a very, very powerful collection of personal development relationship books. So, George, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Connie. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for today. I love our tribe. I love our family, our members that continue to follow us on the Connie Five Show. I myself am a recovering C-suite CEO, and we are here to keep moving ideas forward and keeping that passion of life activated. And if you want to be advertising on the Connie Five Show, just check it out at ConnieFiveShow.com. And also, also, you need to check out Talent Concierge if you're um, a speaker or really want to speak into that 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 platform, that speaking platform, and you've been successful in your business and have a message to share. Perhaps Talent Concierge could help you. Just check it out at talentconcierge.co. That's C-O. So I'm going to leave you with this message today. That is, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, 
it can achieve. And that's from Napoleon Hill. You're listening to the Connie Fife Show. And until we meet again, keep your passion of life activated because that's when we are all unstoppable. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, it's Connie Fife. Thank you for listening to the Connie Fife Show. Check back often. You don't want to miss any of the good stuff. If you like what you hear and would like to be a guest on the show, head over to the ConnieFiveShow.com to apply. While you're there, check out our amazing advertising opportunities that will put you right in front of your perfect client. I will see you over there. Do yourself a favor this week, activate your power, and be unstoppable together.